Alright, hey everyone. How's it going here? Now we're going to be playing a little game. It's called Snake Rattle and Roll. Now, admittedly, I haven't done a whole lot of video recording here. Not completely sure how well this will work. But feeling very confident, I've spent the last some length of time trying to diagnose this and make sure it works right. Somehow playing this game, Rattle looks very orange to me. I don't know, um... I feel he could be a nice coral pink, though. Uh, just... You know, I've been thinking about it. Coral pink could really fit him. Apparently this is what we discuss, is what color video game characters are. I even do anything. Oh, are you telling me select does that? Or is that actually. I have no idea what my buttons are. I was assuming that was select. I'm not exactly the most experienced player. But we're gonna see how well we do. Played Snake Rattle and Roll. This is the first time I've ever played Snake Rattle and Roll, if you're wondering. I've been pretty interested in that. It's a very colorful, fun sort of a game. Apparently the goal of it is you gotta eat all these little pibbly bits. There's one. Stuff them in my mouth. Oh man. Oh what the f no! Of course the enemy only did one HP of damage. This is quite lucky, you know? But early on in this game it seems quite forgiving. It's really just a very nice, gentle and relaxing game. I go out here. Eat some stuff. It's a good time. Nice life for a snake. Move on to the next area. Fight some attire, maybe. It's in here. Bonus stage! Apparently, the idea of a bonus stage is to do more of the same sort of thing you've been doing. I guess it's sort of true. Looks like I got them all. Yeah, 5,000 points. Wow. Oh no, a foot! Take that, you foot. Uh, extra life. This is a really nice game, look at that. Get some lives, some piblies. Open some manholes. I don't know how much this makes sense, why there's manholes on a mountain. Whoa. I wanna check out the rest of them, like, in here, you know? Whoa. Just another pibbly bit. What a whole 30 seconds here. I'm gonna check this this one too. Gobble it up. 200 points. Whoa. Alright, that's in the level. Oh yeah, check it out. I got every pibbly and bit on that level. The 3600 points. That's a ton of points for one level. Still counting up. Yeah. So for those of you who don't know, the game's kind of on this checkerboard pattern. So you kind of move along the checkerboard when you press up and down and left and right. When you press up, you don't really move up. And actually it's quite somehow different than I thought it was going to be. Watching people's video, up seems more like what I thought right would be. Like left seems to be up. So it's kind of confusing. I don't even know if you can get up there. Huh? Doesn't look like it. Got a little mushroom here. Oh, take that. Whoa. Ah! No! Oh man. Oh, come back, Pibbly. No. Oh. Yeah. Yes. Ha, squashed it. Get myself an invisibility diamond. Or invincibility. Topple some things up. Open some of these. Holy frig! Why would there- why would there- Actually, a toilet seems, seems like a completely reasonable thing to find in a manhole cover. Entirely reasonable. Could happen. Haven't lost any lives yet, though. I wanna try one of these things out. Oh yeah. I'm like... Robo Snake. Double Robo Snake. Oh, but I can jump over there now. Oh, oh. Whoa. Ah. 
<gasps> Another bonus stage. Yeah. This one looks a bit more difficult than last one. Now come back. Oh. Oh. I missed one. It's strange though because I've played several other games that have this isometric kind of view where your character, when you press up, you don't necessarily move directly up. And yet I still find the controls in this game kind of difficult to utilize. Maybe this foot will give me an extra life. I'm gonna try to fight it. Alright, here it comes. Ah! I can't believe you get in my way! Ah! Stop eating things. Whoa, 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 oh. You can't jump in the water. Ah. Man, I was scared there for a minute. All right, foot. Be you and me. Oh yeah, extra life. Man, I'm bossing it up. I didn't get the extra life, did I? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Huh. No, I'm not gonna make it. Oh, gosh, I'm on level two. Oh, that's what I get for clouding around. I'm just gonna make it there in one second. Oh, yeah, I did take out that mushroom, though. That was pretty swanky. All right, here we go. One life down. That's not so bad. It's just a life. And into that door. Oh yeah, Mario style. So far, so good. On to level three. The attack of the toilet seats. Who made this game and thought, you know, toilet seats? Now there is an enemy. Oh, there's a strong enemy that could easily take down a snake. Maybe they're like having a meeting. They're like, we gotta come up with some some enemies for our game. Perhaps like, maybe Alex was sick that day. It was just like, Brent and James in the office. You know, what kind, what kind of enemies can we have in this game? Toilet seats! Let's have toilet, toilet seats. I think, uh, I think that's a good enemy? I, it's a great enemy. All right, put it in. You know, the next day Alex comes in and he's like, what's up with this? Oh no, oh, I was in a reverse mode. I should have just waited. Well, Alex comes in, he's like, what's with this? Well, it's a toilet seat. It's a toilet seat? How does that make any sense at all? Look, we've already programmed it into the game here, okay? So it's too late. We're just gonna go with it. And that's how it became what it is today. At least that's how I imagine it. That's how I hope it is. Because any other excuse is just too strange for me. So glad I had an HP left. Oh, man. Dude, this game is actually quite intense. Glad I can relax here and just eat some pibbly bits. And get blown up by a bomb. I thought I had like a health. Oh man. I already hit game over. I'm only on level three. Whoa. That one didn't kill me. Whoa. Gosh. I've never seen anyone get blown up by a bomb until I got blown up by one. Man. Snake just seems to eat a lot. Here we go. 
gonna take a pass on that one. Looks kind of dangerous. Ah! Oh, I need to get some more piddlies. I'm just gonna go over here again. Come on, piddlies. Get in my mouth. There we go. Alright, that is enough. Okay. Because it kind of surprises me that you can't jump while in the water. Like, what's so hard about that? Oh, yeah, foot, bring it. Extra life, that'll help me out. Run and jump. Yeah! Amazing! Level 3 completed! Rattle gets all the points because he's the only one playing. Oh yeah. That's a pretty good score for level five, is that what I'm on? And the game suddenly starts to become much more difficult. Ugh. I knew that was a bomb too, I just couldn't get out of the way in time. Uh, man, this is so much more intense to play than it is just to watch. Whoa, okay. Chomp. No. Yes. Uh, ah. Oh, <laughs> what is this? afraid to go after them. No, it was a bomb anyway. Ah, <laughs> no! Suddenly, passing level 4 doesn't seem like such a simple task. Too many enemies. Actually, this lag might help me out. Shook off that enemy. Man, that foot's gone though. Man. Probably would have just been another bomb anyway. So, for those of you not knowing, because reasonably, why would you unless you're like three people? Uh, the high scores we're going to try to beat here are passing level four in order to beat Amy. We're gonna try to beat like level six or something, or maybe the level seven, in order to get past Kiratio's current high score for um, playing the game legitimately without using any like tricks or save states or such, and passing level nine 